And today's video guys, we're going to take a look at Face Mortal's updated Fortnite settings, which also contains of course his brand new stretch resolution and we're going to take a look at all the hardware components which he's actually using in order to be so insane in Fortnite. I mean it's not really a secret to think about that Mortal is one of the smartest players in the game right now and once we also take a look at all of his clips we can see he's definitely insane. By the way, let me know down in the comment section below why you think Face Mortal's actually never tried to play actually like competitive. I think I've once seen a tweet of him saying something like, hey it's kind of boring to play competitive because you're just sitting in a box. But Regardless, let's get straight into this topic. And as mentioned, guys, in today's video, we're going to take a look at Face Mortal's latest Fortnite settings. And of course, the most important part is his search resolution, which is actually 1680 times 1050, guys. Mortos was already maining this resolution roughly like a year ago before he swapped to something else, guys. And I gotta say, personally, this res is actually one of my most favorite ones. It's quite an OG resolution, but once you're trying to force through the tons of variations of different stretch resolutions, you will always come across this one. 1680 times 1050 is more on the stretched part, so therefore if you really like like this stretched feeling of a resolution which completely slows down all your movement and gives you like this extra precision guys you know with like a more stretch resolution you're just gonna be overall way more precise in Fortnite that's just simply how it is since everything is a little bit more stretched you know what I'm saying and Martus is actually insane once we're also going to take a look at all the rest of his components guys Martus is still using the normal regular Logitech G Pro wireless which is the more heavier version you know like the OG version of the super light sort of set since a lot of people kind of only know the super light for whatever reason I don't even know like guys there's been like a previous version obviously and then once we're going to take a look at his other equipment guys we have a Razer Huntsman TKL which Martos is actually using with linear red switches also amazing keyboard super insanely fast we have Razer optical switches they're super responsive actually and yeah overall a very great keyboard and Martos is actually not using it regularly you know like W A S N D. he's using for all of his gameplay guys actually like an extra joystick from Glorious I think it is right now I'm just gonna put it right now you're on screen guys it sort of gives you like this 360 degree movement of controller while still having access to all your extra keys on your keyboard which is amazing actually let me know down below if i should review this in the future maybe like a future project you know what i'm saying but now once we covered everything guys i'm also going to show you now how you can basically apply model stretch resolution so let's get straight into it do you guys want to get better fps better ping and less input delay here in fortnite then make sure to check out no ping guys which is the number one tool to actually give you all the competitive advantages in any games you guys want to play make Make sure to activate the low delay mode and all the FPS boost modes which are in the software itself and then select your favorite game which you want to play and the server in your near for the least amount of ping. With the code right now you're on screen you can even get 20% off and make sure to check out the link in the description. So guys and now I'm going to show you how you can apply face mount or stretch resolution which is super easy just simply go into your window search bar and type in that presenter 10 presenter open it up straight up guys and then we're going to click onto local press F on our keyboard for Fortnite game go into save then into config guys once we're in here windows client and there we now have have our game user settings before we change anything always make sure guys to go into properties and make sure the attribute read only is unchecked then we're going to open it up and once we're in our game user settings just simply scroll down a little bit until you can find your actual resolution which should be exactly here resolution sizes x and y and last user confirmed one and then we're now going to change it to 1680 times 1050 and then we're going to do the same thing here for our last user confirmed one just simply make sure to put in exactly face models resolution just like this here so it's exactly for both of them then we're going to go into file save close it and then you're going right click onto your game user settings go into properties and make sure to put the attribute read only and just simply click on to apply and okay now you applied face models latest resolution and you can enjoy it in game 